Hello, welcome to Thursdays at 3-ish. I'm Laura with Refund Junk by Laura, and we are going to paint fabric and leather today. This is the... Nobody's on yet. Oh, you can talk. You're not a digital glass. So, uh, but not like that be a good idea. Are you not listening? All right, good one. Go. Leslie says hello. Thank Shelley you. Shelly says hello. Quiet, Kimberly Christie says hello. Hey, Kimberly. Mary Minish said hello oh, from Idaho, oh, uh, Ohio. Sorry. Jill Kristen Peterson is watching. Hey, Jill. Jill. That's fabulous, Pamela Jill. Vega. Hey. Sherry right. Rubleski, Leslie Long. He's like saying that last name. Rubleski. Rubleski. See what? It counts. It totally counts. You can be hiding somewhere Did not watching Saint it. Peter, Lynn Daniel, Sheila Salinas. This is Hello awesome. Hello from San Antonio. All the regular people. It's absolutely fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fabric guy. Connie okay. Diva. Hello from Cincinnati. All right. I don't see that one yet. Here's our before. Not I'm my here face, from Tom. the carpool Tom, line. Do the you want to stop? What? Doing my face and do the furniture. Oh, <laughs> I was telling people. I'm going to, but oh. I would like for him to show the furniture while oh. I do that, not okay. my face. Which one? Which piece? This piece right here that I'm pointing to. Okay, we're doing fabric and leather today. <laughs> Some days it's not a good idea to be married. Spring fever. Oh my goodness. Okay, so fabric and leather. This is our leather piece we're working on. Cindy and Martin, somebody Fletcher, and Maxine Christie. Furniture. I know. It's on the you furniture. You can do that and read. Okay? okay. So, this is our leather piece we're working on. Down there on the floor is our fabric piece we're working on. I'll show you the back side of that one in a minute. And before we start, let's do our customer creations. So, first we have this one. She said in a minute. Did she Julie Long already? said, Oh, Tom. What? Hello again from Adairsville, Georgia. Okay, Great this movement. is. Karen, and I'm not going to butcher her last name, I'm just going to say Karen. And she used said, the, put that on the piece that I am showing you and quit with my face. If you can't read, I'll have Jill read. On the furniture. Good heavens. All right. So, we have a piece right here. We're never going to get done. You didn't, nobody tuned in to see my face. All right, here we go. She used the prep to clean an old tray. Look at the difference. Totally, totally, totally awesome. Where she got that cleaned up. But I also picked this so she wins. I'm going to show you the front of the tray, but then Tom's going to talk to you a few minutes about the prep um, and what you should and should not use it on. This is a phenomenal thing she did. Look at the difference here. Before, after. So, so pretty. And then we had somebody that did a little, ooh, be careful message. So that's what Tom's going to talk to you about right now is the, ooh, be careful. So here's what you can and can't do with the prep. Ready, set, go, Tom. No. You can aim it at you while I No, answer. you cannot. <laughs> okay, so here here's the reason that they said that. The and prep, Karen, what you did was fabulous, and we are not fussing at you. It's just a great opportunity for Tom to share some thoughts about what you should use no. the prep for. Do what? Karen, I didn't say her last name because I don't want to mess it up. Okay. Yeah, this yeah. Karen. Okay, ready, go. Yeah, she's not fussing at you. She's All of her fussing is towards me today. Okay. The reason somebody said be careful, the prep is really, really strong. One of the things that it can remove is paint. So this is absolutely perfect. The thing, only thing we would suggest is that you try a little test pat part first to make sure it's going to work because you hate to do it and then have everything come off. The prep will definitely work. It just may need to be diluted is all. So that's all she was saying is just be careful because you won't want to mess up something really pretty. But as you see, the prep and whatever uh, concentration you need it, this is exactly what it's designed for. It takes off all the old wax, grime, things like that. Makes it a little like brand new. There you phenomenal go. Phenomenal use, phenomenal use. Wonderful, wonderful job. Second, we have, we've got papers coming. Second, we have Mary a before. Mary Pearson. I'm, yeah. Uh -huh. I was gonna do some of the names. Oh, okay, great. Okay, it's Case uh, Hasford and Lori Kraft are watching. Sorry, they're going past fast. I'm trying. Nothing. You're doing good. All right, here we go. Yay. There's a before and a before. This is in some. This is in Virginia Patterson's camper, and we had. I got out an old Lisa. stain from my carpet with the prep. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. My daughter was having trouble the other day getting Sharpie off one of her notebooks, and I told her to go get the prep. She ran, got it, was all excited, and it totally worked. So. Yeah, I'll take Sharpie off. There's before. And here's after. Are you ready? This is in their camper. 
We wanted to brighten it up, but. If you, Lynn Daniel asked this question. Can yes. you pre can you paint after prepping on a piece that has wax on it? Okay. So prep is water based. It's a really strong cleaner. It's a really strong degreaser. It may take the wax off, but there's some wax that it won't. So mm -hmm. just do this. Spray it. Mm -hmm. Take a green cloth. Wipe over it, and then just do a test pattern. It's the only thing that will take wax off if it will. But still, some of the wax is on there so strong it's going to take you two or three coats to get it off. So that's all I'm saying. Just do a test pattern after you did it. And to make sure we answered the whole question, you do have to have the wax off before you paint. Yes. But that's with any product. You can't paint with anything with that barrier there. So, yes. okay. So, sorry. The floors in her camper. Beautiful. Oh, Here this is a camper? After. Uh-huh. That's the cool thing about it. After. After. That Fabulous. Cool. So, Karen... You have a $35 credit for how the awesome use of the prep there. Place an order. Put in the notes section that you got a $35 credit. We'll refund it. And, and we get a night in the camper. Virginia, they're going on a mission trip. It's a righteous spiritual camper. Um, I can be wasn't righteous Wasn't that part of it? Spiritual? Wasn't that part of the story? Yeah, I think so. I could be righteous. Mm, I don't think so. Not today. And so you've got a $35 credit, Virginia. So do you want to do any more to the camper or anything else? Place an order. What's the matter? Somebody had a long question, but it went off mine. I'm going to go with linen with dark glaze, but I cannot remember. Should have written that down. Sorry. Yeah, you can go to the Q&A page. Find her post. It's Virginia Patterson. If you search her name, this will pop up. Um, but she did a phenomenal job. Looks great. Definitely. Covered that oak and brightened everything up. It wasn't a question. Oh, my goodness. She had, um, Lori, was it Lori? Yeah. Lori Hyman did. She sprayed, she was prepping it to paint it when she started doing that. And you should, really should look up the pictures on this one. Look up Karen's name. Here's her last name for those of you that would like to see her last name. So look up, it's in the thread with the tray here. There's her last name right here. Look that up because Lori's pictures are in the, that's a little blurry. Don't go quite so close. I'm sorry. I That's just okay. thought it was there. my eyes. Nope. Um, and she started cleaning, and underneath it, was it like a tiger wood or a burled wood or something so, so, he did it right that time, right there. Look, 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 look. Could you write, see? Yeah. So, you should go and look at that one because the she decided not to paint it after she saw how beautiful the wood was underneath. So, all right. Now we're going to do leather and fabric, and let's start with fabric. Talk from the clean wall and cabinet for clean. Oh, see, sorry. you're reading and you just... Yes, no, I'm what? On you. Oh, okay, what, Tom? Can I put dark glaze on after tough top? Yes, you can put dark glaze on after tough top. And Pamela Vegan. And yes, Vagans you can repaint said, after tough top. Pamela Vegans, Vegans, Vega, sorry. I've been trying to remove chalk from between wall and cabinets for a clean surface to paint counter. Oh, and that's all I have on that comment, so I can't read the rest of it. It has not worked well. Straight to the needle work. Guess what did? Yes, cut. Oh. Woohoo! She yeah. was cleaning something and nothing worked until she got the prep, and now she's going to order a jumbo. We do have a jumbo size prep for those of you. And your Robert said hello. So. And uh, hey. snowy New Jersey. Yeah, they're getting a cold bunch of here snow yesterday. Up there. Yeah. Okay, fabric. Snowing in Kentucky. Ooh, did you call your mom? So we're going to add. Focus. What am I looking at? Oh, the whole thing, but not me. Okay, so we got 80% well, water, 20% fabric softener, whatever your favorite brand. I like this one because it smells really good. Okay, and... Don't spill. I'm watching. No. Psych, I didn't. You did awesome. Okay, so you got the 80-20 mix, and then you're going to take that, and I should have a trigger sprayer. I cannot find mine of my life. Somebody so, said, does your new teal color come with a dark glaze on it come out really dark? The deep ocean color? Is that what we're talking about? Yes. That would be the new teal color? Um, okay, show them both. Timeless teal is right there with dark glaze on behind you. Somebody said they were getting seasick from the way I was doing the camera. No. So I'm going very slowly. So there's timeless teal with dark glaze. And Lisa's late. Yay! <laughs> and then, if you want to show them the dresser back there, that's deep ocean. 
We added a little bit of midnight, oh, and then we dark glazed it, if that's the teal color you're talking about. It's gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell in the picture, but it's stunning. Really, really pretty. How come there's not hearts? Uh, I don't know. Because they're sick. Okay, great. All right. But I made them all said sick. She used prep to take gold foil wrapping paper off the inside of the cabinet. It had been glued on and covered with wallpaper. Wow. Say that again. <coughs> no, There's a hard time. Hi. <laughs> she said she used prep to take gold foil wrapping paper off the inside of the cabinet. It had been glued on and then covered with wallpaper. Thank you. <coughs> My favorite one Good still. Job. Was somebody who said that they're, and I can't remember the names, somebody who said, Mom, so close, oh, good night. People have personal space. So someone said that their husband was a priest, and they had spilled um, some wine or something on his robes, and so his wife was like, no worries, I got this. So she cleaned him with the prep. It all worked out great. And the thing that cracked me up was the next thing in the thread was somebody who went on and did hashtag lesson prep. <laughs> cracked me up. Okay, so here's our chair. We've painted the front. Yeah. So okay. here's our chair. <laughs> Somebody wants to see the teal again. Oh, okay. So I'm going to show you the teal again. Yes, if you want to lighten the teal color, linen or cotton or cloud are always great colors to use for lightening. And for, in fact, I'd probably go with cloud or cotton because they are whiter and won't add any kind of yellow at all to them. Yeah. So that was the teal you showed them? Yes. Okay, chair. Uh, <laughs> Stuart Little said hello from Ball Ground. Hello. Stuart Little. Stuart Little well, is I'm, a mouse in a story. I'm... <laughs> That's what Jill read, okay? Because you can't scared. focus and you can't read. Okay, this is the chair we did. Here's what it looked like before. So, you're going to start by spraying it with the prep mixture you got. I mean, not the prep mixture, the fabric softener mixture. And you're doing this so that you can... The fabric softener will help soften the fabric some. And it does make a difference and it makes it smell so good. I know, I love it. I love it. I'm going to start using some for food perfume behind my ears. Yes, you may. Yes, you may. The other reason to use this... Does it work on personalities? I don't know. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. You still got a rotten personality. So, spray it on there. And the other reason we're doing that is, number one, like I say, so that you soften the fabric some. And number two, because that way if somebody says, did you paint that chair? You don't have to say yes. And it only took me 85 quarts. Because um, you're going to... Is that dirt one that stain top on top of the teal? Is that what? Oh, I think she probably means the glaze. Is that what? Pam Vega was asking if, um, what's on top of the teal. Uh, dark, glaze. dark glaze. Dark glaze, if you're looking at the top. Dark glaze. This is a dark glaze. And then the top, of course, is stain top. But this is just a dark glaze on it. Sandstone paint. We'll just pour it into this. We're using sandstone paint, for those uh -huh. of you who couldn't hear over there. Diane Pruitt just joined. Hey, Diane. All right. Then you're just going to start painting now. Which stain top? She said uh, dark walnut. Oh, yes. Mark that down. Yes. She always right write about something. <laughs> okay. Date on the calendar. I want to try and get a pretty good, unlike furniture. Furniture, you want a nice stain coat to begin with. With the fabric, it does not matter. You want to kind of get it covered as best as you can on the first coat and then come in for touching up the second. And I'm just going to do a little section so hopefully it'll dry because then the second and third steps are important too. So that's all you're doing. If you have fabric, you don't have to water down the paint, right? No, you do not have to water. You don't want to water down the paint. It's not going to cover as good. And you can go different directions to get it in the nap. There is no grain like with wood. You just want to get it in there on the fabric. If I paint all my kitchen cabinets with linen and then dark glaze, will they look yellow? No, they'll look like linen with dark glaze. <laughs> How's that for an answer? That was funny. Which definitely proves that, that the prep, funny. I mean, the fabric softener solution does not work on personalities. <laughs> that was linen funny. and dark glaze is a very classy combo and no, it will not look yellow. No, no yellow. I was okay. being funny. So, we've got this on here. Let me tell you a couple things before we move on. If you're painting something like this where the fabric has a pattern woven into it. This is not just printed on there. It's woven in. You will see a little bit of the pattern in the finished product. Doesn't matter to me. You just should know that. Can you paint the rug? Can you paint a rug? We painted floor cloths before. We painted a piece of linoleum 
and turn those into um, floor cloths. I have not painted a rug. My guess is a rug the nap is going to be too deep to really paint without getting crusty and weird. So that's just my guess. And Diane said they suffered through the wind and the sun. Thank you, Diane. Whoa. Kim Smith said hi from Oxford, Georgia. Hey! Okay, so we're going to let this dry. I'm going to put it in front of the fan and let it dry so we can come back and take the next you're step. Move the it other thing there. is, yes, I'm going to move it over. Okay. The other thing is, if you're painting fabric that has wood accents like this, it doesn't really matter what you paint first. I usually end up getting out of the lines. If I paint the wood first, then I have to touch up when I come back in. If I paint the fabric first, then I have to touch up. So whatever I'm doing, I always, almost always have to come back in and touch up. Like right here, you can see I've messed up right there where it joins. Can you see that little spot? Yes. All I have to do is go back in with the linen right here and just paint that linen. Yeah? Can you glaze, can you glaze fabric? Can you glaze the fabric to yes. accent the pattern? Yes, yes, you can. And higher nap fabrics will not work, right? A velvet, um, a corduroy, they end up, because you've got a nap on the fabric, the paint ends up making it crustier. With this, when this dries, we're actually going to sand it, which makes it really, really soft. Why are you laughing? Because they're thinking, Lindy was thanking us for the gum in her box. Oh, that's got hilarious. She got gum in her box and she said her kid was thrilled. Yay! Her four-year-old. Okay. I'm thrilled Do with the gum. seal it? You can, you don't have to. I've done it both ways. This has been in our office here. And somebody sits. Said, who? Sorry, oh, hey, Jamie. Um, somebody sits in it almost every day. We've had no problems. I did not seal it. Somebody, Megan. Me, yeah. yeah, Megan usually sits in this every day. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to yeah, move this to the we, fan. We've had that painting for a while. Yeah, at least a year. Yeah. Okay, so. It's very comfy, though. Huh? It's very comfy. It is a comfy chair. And I would never have paid to reupholster this, but it looks fine like this. Okay, next thing is leather. With leather, you can skip the fabric softener step. Uh oh, what? I'm not frozen. Are you frozen? I don't know. Okay. All right, so you can skip the fabric softener step. You do probably want to go ahead and prep it because prep will remove some stuff that you can't see and make it, you know, this is a slick surface. That's so, really to get stuff off more so that you don't have uh, debris in your paint when you're done. Yeah, there'll be, sometimes I'll pick up something that'll have cobwebs or something on it, so yeah. prepping's a good idea. Um, for this one, let me see what side I want to start on. Can you see if I, if you go to that side, I can go right here. Can you go over there? Oh, okay. All right. I'll have that backlight. It goes on leather so well, or vinyl, or whatever this is. I don't know. Okay. That, that, that's what? That's probably leather. You think? So, well, it's older. I don't know. Older means leather. Okay. I think that's a technical term. It is going to take two coats, but it turns out beautifully. No, it doesn't crack. Um, I mean, I guess after a long while it could, but we've not had that experience. So this is sandstone I'm putting all over here. We'll let that dry. The, I was trying to find the legs were really beat up on this. I don't know if you can tell as much on this leg. What's but, the fabric softener for y'all? Josie Hughes, have you not been paying attention? The fabric softener is If you are painting fabric, okay, you, tell me you spray it on the fabric first. It helps to less paint to be absorbed and it helps to soften it. And later it makes it feel softer. Plus, Laura likes the smell. Well done. Did I do okay? You did great. Okay. What so did got you, a coat on the leg Somebody then. wants to know what you used on the cabinets behind you for the barn wood look. Oh, y'all are a little ADD today. We're doing fabric and leather. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. Um, this is, oh, right? I did actually, no, no, did we do a video on that? Yeah. I think we do have a video on this. We've this is 20. just plain raw wood. It's just like those pine planks or boards you can get um, at Home Depot like this only wider that's what we started with and i painted them putty did not paint it in putty did stain top in dark walnut and then stain top in red and black and then just a little bit of linen dry brush but there should be a video on that so look it up because it does make it look like older wood it is pretty phenomenal okay tom do you have your nails manicured yes i do that's fancy, Tom. Yeah. Okay. Then on the top I didn't of know you could get nails manicured. She said they look nice. 
Here are uh, here is that same thing on uh, white. on whiteboard, white board. that Lara made um, shutters out of a while ago. Yes. Don't the, prep. The nice thing, don't use prep to clean it. The, can you clean your fabric? Like, let's say I paint that chair and it gets dirty. Megan sits in it and she gets it nasty. Um, yes, you can clean it. If you've tough topped it, it'll be even easier to clean. But the nice thing is when you paint fabric, it's totally absorbent into that fabric. It's not going anywhere. It is going to stay, stay safe. You probably couldn't get the paint off if you wanted to. So, I'm just painting because I wanted a checkerboard thing on top. It was too easy not to with all the little squares. So, and then the other color I used on here, I wanted it to be closer to being a tone on tone. So I mixed sandstone and linen. Another question? Uh, somebody said you're amazing. Oh, that's uh, nice. Sorry, I'm sure Michelle they were talking Hilton. to you. Said Laura's amazing. Oh, she specified. Okay, thank Pamela you. Pamela Vegan said, I love the finish. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> You're welcome, Pamela. Let me apologize because Tom said it shouldn't bother me the way it does, but it does bother me. Um, well, hold it. What? Yeah. No, well, no, not really. No. Well, I'm just... We're going to have her tell us what she's going to say first. <laughs> Hey, y'all, yeah. greetings from Michigan, looking fabulous, from Lisa Johnson. Hey, Lisa. Oh, she just joined? Yeah. She's the one who posted? We chose Virginia Patterson for our Thursday um, creations, uh, customer creations winner, that. So, thanks for posting that. It was awesome what she did in her camper. Fabulous, and we appreciate you sharing. Um, I have some on my screen porch, which is shaded, so I don't know. <laughs> yes, um, yes, it, it, it would be sun resistant um, if it's on a covered porch. You wouldn't want to throw it out on your, uh, I mean, you could, but you probably wouldn't want to throw it out on your bench that's out in your yard because the rain and the sun would take a toll on it after a while. But as far as sitting on a porch and having the sun on it all day long, not a problem. That's what you can do front, you can do your door. You can do anything like that, and the sun will not bother it at all. No, that's okay. The little trim here, I'm doing in the lighter color. I mixed linen and sandstone for this color. It doesn't matter if you get out of the lines. It looks stupid right now, but if you go over to that side or the front, Tom, and show them the front, sure. it's easy to just touch up. Sure would. You told me to go to the front, and I said, sure. I know. You don't normally say sure. I thought maybe you'd uh -oh. go customer. All right. Um, somebody, can we have a Thursday at 3-ish where you can paint ceramic tiles? Yes. Pretty please. What ceram? Where are you? Where are the tiles? And please, I would love suggestions for what to do. We're doing this today because I had somebody um, boss me around asking me, just, "Just kidding, Michelle? Michelle McBride, this is for you." But she's probably not even tuned in and watching, right? She she's is? on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, good. All right, that would have been funny, right? Oh no, I'm not saying anything bad about Michelle. She beat me up. Okay, so, um, so I would love to have suggestions for what to do on Thursday three. Would love, love, love. I don't want to just come up with something every week. I would love to do what you want to see. So tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. What you really, really want. Somebody said that the, um, they have a sunroom and it's getting bleached out. Yeah, absolutely. The paint would help with that. Paint the um, paint over fabric is much more durable than just the fabric dye. It's much more durable than dye. So. Amy's asking what? Uh huh. Oh, if she can, if wicker's going to look the same? Yeah, the only problem with wicker is it's a nightmare. If you're doing wicker, wicker, grab out your sprayer. There's so many little cracks and crevices to get in. If you're patient and you're good with that, fine, roll with it. I don't have the patience, but with a sprayer, woohoo! We did a video on that one time outside, which was hilarious because it like rained during our video. It did everything during the video. One time we decided to take a field trip and go outside in the parking lot but um you can do it it's just when you get started the paint goes on the outside i don't have anything i don't even have a basket do it. it goes on the outside and then you notice that there are lots of little crevices and nooks and crannies and layers so just realize it'll be a project but there's nothing wrong with doing it it's fantastic spraying is the fastest way yeah the 
What do you think, Tom? Behind the stove. Floors or behind the stove towel. I'm doing a second coat on this so you can see how well it coats on the second. I mean, it covers on the second coat. So. The towels behind. No, no. The towels behind your stove. Great. It'll work. Uh, you may need to. I mean. You know, you paint them, and then when they're really, really good and, and cured, and on, it's on there, then you tough top it, and that way, the way if you spilled something on it, you could actually wipe it off. Don't use the prep to wipe it off; it'll take everything off. Um, but it'll take it off. Tile floors, uh, flooring is a totally different animal. That's a whole different durability. So I would not suggest painting tile floors. I don't want you to be really, really unhappy with us. Covers great would be. on the second coat here. Um, oh, we yeah. have had people though they have used stain top on their floors and everything. This last demo we went to, I must have been on crack. Somebody said I told them to. Isn't that funny? To do floors? Uh-huh. Wow. She loves them. Um, people would like to sell at Cricut ideas. They would love to know stenciling. But these are ideas. Um, for Thursdays at 3. Okay, these are fantastic ideas. And let me just have one or two or 12 or 1,700 of you say to my husband, yes, we enjoy some of the smaller projects. Doesn't always have to be a big honking piece of furniture. The crafty things are a whole lot of fun too, right? Wait. Right. Y'all didn't need to see that. Apparently she was upset at me. What? We take two. Would you nope. like to re-say that without putting my name in there? Tom says Wait. that people don't like crafty. Take three. <laughs> when I was talking to Tom, he said, he was. Some people named Tom think that nobody wants to do anything unless it's a big old piece of furniture. I think some of the crafty things are some of the funnest. She says stenciling would be awesome. I have a really old coffee table from the 1920s. It Ooh, has issues. A lot of things fun. from the 1920s have issues. And there are some ways to stencil to make it look more professional, more current, more aged than to just stencil with the stencil and walk away. So yeah, we can do that. Do what? Super sturdy and bleached out. All right. So you can see on the first coat, it looks a little, mm -hmm. second coat, you come back in, it looks fantastic. So. Woohoo! We will mix those in with the big honking furniture things, Tom. Just tell Tom, here's his deal. Tell Tom y'all about paint. If I do something crafty, he tells me nobody's going to buy paint. Then I'm just running him to Hobby Lobby to buy craft supplies. They're so. saying, love the crafty things. Yes, Laura, small See? project. See? You're correct. Crafty See? is nice. What See? happened to the stencils you were going to carry? See? Mm -hmm. Can you use your paint, paint in a sprayer? Do you yes, have to you prepare can. the paint, especially to use it in a sprayer? You can use our paint in a sprayer. You don't have to prepare it, but if you need to thin it for your settings on your sprayer, thin it with water. We've had a couple of people that have tried thinning it with fabric softener. I mean, not with fabric softener, what I'm saying, with uh, paint thinner. And that's uh, not the best. Just water. So, just water. Yep. Okay, so I'll finish this later because I'm getting Somebody else love, in. love crafty, love Yay. the smaller project. All right. We you need can't feel smells this. in our booth. Oh, smalls in our booth. That's right. I'm like, they well, do. if you need smells, I'll come by. No, actually, that's a really great point. When we went and did vintage market days, um, it was a lot of work. And one of the reasons was because we have a paint line. And I felt like everything I took in there had to have some of our paint on it. So, I got bunches of ideas for little things to accessorize with and put around that have they use the paint, Tom. The pills Lori, are fun. Lori Hammond says we love smaller, not not everything has to, bigger is not always better. See? Thank you, Lori. Okay. Uh, yes, thank you, you can't Lori. Feel this. <laughs> great the crafty things are great for leftover paint. Great points. Okay, Tom. Focus on the project, honey. Well I'm, I'm uh... Okay. So you can't feel this. It's most impressive when you can feel it. Oh, I need a sanding pad. Again, on your ceramic tile. again, if you're going to paint the grout on your ceramic tile, exact same thing. Uh, paint it, use something, use a uh, cloth to wipe off where it gets on the actual tile. Yes, you can do that on a backsplash or something like that. Not floors and not in bathroom, not around your tub or something. Yeah, uh, prep. Prep will clean your grout. Prep absolutely cleans grout in a heartbeat. Yeah. For those of you who are new, Ryobi Sander, 80 grit sandpaper is what I like. You don't have to have the cordless. It makes me happy, but they have one that has a cord that's only 29 bucks. Velcro. We want you to be happy. On. All right, we're going to sand. So soft. Take some of the paint off. This is an old chair. 
Because I'm telling him it's soft. I'm Laura, telling him, yeah. Your hair looks excellent today. It Are you making fun of my hair? Day. No, somebody made that comment. Isn't oh, that that's nice? nice. That's very nice. Okay, we are ready. Kindness Rock. Said, Laura, oh, your hair looks nice awesome. today. Awesome, thank you. I needed that today. It's been a dumb day. So, then you're going to put your second coat on. Do you see how we just sanded the fabric? We sanded the fabric. If you do not do that, you're not going to have the soft feel you could have. It's amazing the difference it makes. That fan may be blocking the noise. You know, blocking people. the noise? What do you mean? People want to hear your lovely voice. Oh, I'm talking right by the camera. These people do. <laughs> not me. All right. All right. Putting our second coat on. And after the second coat dries, sand again. Don't need to show you that because you just saw me do the first coat. If when you sand again, we do a little part right here. On our first coat, you can see how some of it came off and you see the fabric back through. Second coat won't do that nearly as much. If it does, water the paint down just a little bit and put your final coat on. And it'll stay really soft if you're going to tough top it too. That is all we did to get to that. And Laura is showing you how to do it in a way I was feeling it, where it's real, it's soft. It doesn't feel like paint yeah. at all. It feels like fabric, it's cool. That's a cool one, project. Oh. The transfers, probably most of you remember that one. Okay, that's all there is to painting the leather and vinyl and fabric. Oop, a little too soon to put that Teresa on. Holiday is watching. Hey, Teresa. Okay, so send me ideas for what you want us to do. And let me go back to my apology real quick. We got... Um, somebody said, oh, and say, somebody said, did you spray the fabric softener, spray fabric softener on the chair? Yes. Yes, the chair is 80% water, 20% fabric softener sprayed on there. That picture really <laughs> helps. 80-20, <laughs> spray that on there before you start. And then go, you do not have to do that on the leather or the vinyl or whatever, you know, surface you're painting there. Okay. So my apology is, sorry if we're a little behind sometimes on answering questions. What are you making a face for? I didn't make a face. You did make a face. Why are you apologizing? No, it's just we're, it's a family business and we're getting to them as fast as we can. Sometimes we do get a little behind. We're very, very sorry. We've gotten a couple comments lately that we're maybe more than a little behind. We don't ever mean to do that. Truly, truly sorry. Shoot us an email. If you can't get us through Facebook, um, call us. Yeah, call us, 770-366-1852. Or you can always email me, Laura at rethunctionalpylar.com. And, and leave a message if we don't answer the phone because it's probably because I'm on the phone. Oh yeah, feel free to leave a message. Jill will, will get back to you if we if we get a message. But I did just want to apologize. We've had, like I said, a couple comments um, where people were less than happy about that. And I understand that. I truly do. Um, we're doing our best, but we're going to make a concerted effort to do even better. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being patient. Thank you for joining us. Oh, Two questions. Few but, questions. Okay. I'm totally painting my weird colored fake suede glider stool. Okay. Awesome. Hey, that's you, awesome. I love you, the description. Will you glaze the leather to hide imperfect imperfect lines? Would yes, I glaze you it? You can glaze the leather. You sure can. And would you? If it depends on the lines. Sometimes I notice that glaze will pick up or accent an imperfection. It just depends on. So try it in a small spot, but have a rag ready to wipe it off. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I feel bad. And um, and would you tough top something like this stool? And yeah, when you're totally done, once it's dry, once it's on there, then yes, you can absolutely tough top it, and that will protect it for shoes and things like that that you're saying. Perfect. And then, um, let's see, no apologies. Oh, she needs to apologize. Not for any of that, but there are several things. I'll, may, I'll put a list this week, and y'all can hear all the things she needs to apologize to me for. Lovely. Very Lovely. cool. Thanks for the painting the fabric. Thank you so, so much for joining us. Send me ideas for what you'd like to have done at Thursday on Thursday at 3. Would love to have ideas. It makes me really, really happy. Thank you so much, and happy rethunking.